Hey, this is Jordan from Derelict. Uh, a lot of people ask me about uh, the way I do my heel-toe uh, base drum technique and I just wanted to take a minute to explain that and maybe it'll be a little bit easier to understand. First off, I just want to let you know like you do not need uh, longboard pedals, uh, nor do you have to have small feet to do this technique. Uh, I use a Pearl Eliminator and I have a side swell foot no problems whatsoever, I can pull off the technique. Uh, I would recommend taking off your shoes for this technique because it's going to give you a lot more control uh, and for those of you who worry about foot size, uh, obviously it makes, uh, takes up a smaller area. You may have to adjust the angle of your pedal a little bit to do this properly. Um, you're going to make, you're gonna need to make sure that uh, the angle is steep enough to allow a second bounce, which is crucial to this technique. Uh, I keep mine around here so you can get the initial bounce and then drop your toe for the second one. Uh, one misconception about the technique uh, is the name itself. Heel-toe makes it sound like the first stroke actually comes from the heel, which it actually doesn't. I put my foot across the board at about a 45 degree angle, something like this. Uh, then I drop my heel down onto the floor. So the motion does begin with my heel, but the actual impact comes from about the middle of my foot. Like this, and then I drop the toe. Uh, this is why the angle of the board is so important. Because if your board is too shallow, then when you drop the first heel stroke, you're not going to have enough bounce back in order to allow for your toe stroke. My take on this technique is not based on uh, continuous eighth notes with one foot, like uh, Tim Watterson, for example. Mine is uh, more based on groupings of sixteenth notes grouped in two, spread across both feet. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. It's hard to make the sound clean while doing it slow, so instead of counting one and two and in eighth notes, try counting it in sixteenths. 1 E and a, 2 E and a. This is a great exercise to develop this technique right here. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a. I like to use triggers when I play with derelict because it, uh, it gives me the sound that I want, but this technique is actually really useful without them in almost any style of music. You can apply almost any hand technique that alternates between singles and doubles to your feet to help develop your footwork. Okay, so I hope that was helpful, at least a little bit. Uh, if you want to check out the way that I apply this technique to uh, my personal playing, you can check out uh, our Derelict's video, uh, my video playing our song Surrounded by Decline.